Hi everybody, Karen and Lucy here from Ginger Jive and in this video we have our top 10 teapot modern jive variations. Now if you are following along with any of the memes in this video, do check out the safety disclaimers, that's in the video description below. And if you fancy subscribing to the channel, that would be brilliant as well. The octopus teapot goes back, under, back, under, turn, round, walk, walk, round, drop the elbow, return, and back. The octopus teapot starts with the leader's left to the follower's right in nice and close and hands down at waist level. As you push away with the back of the hand, we're going to offer the spare hand, so a double hand hold at this point. Now leading your partner into a classic beginner's octopus, you're going to lower the right hand, raise the left. Take the left hand in front of the face, turning your partner in front of you as you both continue to change places, sliding your hand across their back, so we're now double hand hold. From here, leaders, as you step in front of your partner, you're going to raise both hands over your head as we both start to change places. As we continue to change places, you dip the hand down slightly, both hands down, and then raise both hands over your partner's back as your partner is continuing to turn. As your partner continues to turn, keep your left hand high and your right hand low as again you continue to turn your follower. As you come out of the turn, it may get a little bit dizzy for your followers, so do be a little bit careful. Uh, you're going to turn slightly, leaders, dropping that left hand down onto that left shoulder, and your right hand is behind your partner's back. As we walk round for another two walks, we're going round one and two and. Again, we're going to gently nudge our partners with the right hand so they continue to do an extra step as we then lower our left hand down so we can both turn to face each other at the same time. Finish off with that return as we step in, raise the left hand, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back at the end, left to right. So the reverse shoulder drop teapot goes back, return, round. One, two, through, drop the elbow, return and back. So the reverse shoulder drop teapot is a great little move that can be added to any move that uh, ends with a left-handed return. So we're going to start with the leader's left, follower's right, both taking a step away. Now starting off with this left-handed return, leaders, you're going to raise your left hand, returning our followers anti-clockwise. When your follower comes out of that return, you're going to start turning to your right as you place your left hand onto your left shoulder. Continue to turn to your right, some natural momentum will turn your follower a little bit more so we can take our right hand behind their back. Now we're in the teapot position, we can go around for the two counts as we go around one and two. Finishing off by guiding our follower with that right hand so they can take an extra step. We can lower this left elbow down so we can face each other at the same time. Stepping in, returning our partners anti-clockwise, finishing left to right at the end. The teapot neck flick goes back, under, round once, twice, over the head, round, spin, and catch, return, and back. The teapot neck flick starts with the leader's left to the follower's right, in nice and close, and hands down at waist level. From there, you just gently push away with the back of your left hand, so we both take a small step back. Now, as you draw your partner into a classic teapot position, leaders, you raise your left hand as you step underneath it, taking your right hand behind your partner's back, so we're now into that teapot position. As we walk round for two counts, we're going round one and two and. Now, from there, leaders, you are going to guide your partner behind you, so followers, you continue to walk. You don't actually stop halfway, you continue to walk. Leaders, you raise that left hand, and as your follower is continuing to walk, you drop your left hand onto your right shoulder, still keeping hold of your partner's hand. As we turn to face our partner, we wrap their arm around our neck. From here, using your right hand, a right flat hand, you're just going to make contact with your partner's elbow or upper arm, and as you turn to your left, you're just going to push through and then continue to turn yourself to the left whilst you're spinning your partner into a clockwise direction. 
Once we both turn and face each other, you're just going to catch with either hand. Finishing off the move, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back at the end. The first move T-pops. Goes back, in, out to the side, forward, round, one, two, through, and face, return and back. The first move teapot starts off like that beginner's first move, so we're in nice and close and hands down at waist level. Leaders left to the followers right, as you push away, you both take a step back. Now as you drew your partner in, leaders, you take your right hand out to the side, you place your right hand on your partner's hip, and your left hand comes up to your left shoulder. Now from there, we're just going to turn our partners out like a first move. So you push down with your left hand, leaders, and your right hand is still on your follower's waist. Followers, you just take your right foot behind the left. From there, as you bring your partner back to pretty much their previous position, you raise your left hand to your left shoulder. Now as you raise your left hand, you guide your partner underneath with that right hand that's on the waist. Keep that right hand on the small of their back. Now leaders, you're going to turn slightly to your left, dropping your left hand down onto your left shoulder. Try not to have it raised up here all the time, you just drop it to your left shoulder. From there, we walk around for two counts. We're going to go around one and two and. From here, we just guide our partner around for an extra step as we then drop our left elbow down so we can both turn to face each other at the same time. Finishing the move off, we're going to step in, raising the left hand to return our followers anti-clockwise, and then we just take a step back, lowering the hand down at the end. The Archie Teapots goes back, round, walk once, twice, round, drop the elbow, return, and back. So the Archie Teapot starts off with the leader's left to the follower's right, in nice and close, and hands down at waist level. From here, as you push away with the back of your left hand, leaders, you place your thumb on the back of your partner's hand, and you're going to twist their hand so their palm is facing the ceiling. Now the idea is, is you're going to sweep their hand over their head so they turn into a clockwise direction. So as you step in, sweep that hand. Followers, you're turning clockwise and as you come out of the turn, leaders, you take your right hand behind your partner's back, dropping the left hand down onto your left shoulder. Try not to have it raised, just drop it onto that shoulder. From there, we go into that two beat walk around as we go around one and two and... As we continue to let our followers walk behind us by guiding them with our right hand, from there we just drop the left elbow down as we turn to face each other at the same time. Finish the move off with a return, stepping in, raising that left hand, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back left to right at the end. The reverse turn teapot goes back, under, round once, twice, changing sides, once, twice, changing sides, under the hand, return, and back. So the reverse turn teapot starts off, leaders left of the followers right, in nice and close, hands down at waist level. As we guide our partner away, pushing away with the back of the hand, we both take a small step back. Now from here we're going into the normal classic teapot position as we raise our left hand and we go underneath our left hand as we take our right hand behind our partner's back into that teapot position. As we walk round for two walks we're going round one and two and. Now what we're going to do from here is we're going to swap sides and we're going to take two beats to do this. We're going to go across on one and as we lower the left hand we're going to raise that right hand up to our right shoulder this time on the second count. From here, we walk forwards now the opposite way, the reverse way. So we're going around one and two and. Now to get out of this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a step to the side again to meet in the middle. And as we meet in the middle, we're going to raise our left hand up, continue to change sides now. And as we continue to change sides, leaders just step backwards underneath that left hand. From here, from a swizzle position, you're going to raise that left hand, still keeping hold of both hands, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back, double hand hold.
the teapot wrap goes back under and once twice round for the wrap back forward out prepare in for the spin and back the teapot wrap starts with the leader's left to the followers right in nice and close hands down at waist level from here we're just going to lead our partners away with the back of that hand as we both take a small step back now we're just going to start off with a classic teapot move as leaders you lead your partner in raising your left hand going underneath it and taking your right hand behind your partner's back and placing it uh, on their waist. Now from there followers you can either place your hand over the top of the leader's hand or you can actually go underneath it. What we're going to do now is we're going to walk round for two counts. We're going to go round one and two and... Now what's going to happen is, leaders, you're going to let go of this left hand that's across your shoulders and gently pulling down, and it is important that you pull down with the right hand, you can start turning your partners in an anti-clockwise direction. As you continue to walk around, leaders, to meet your follower, your followers are still turning, and as we meet, once they can't turn anymore, we meet side by side into a wrap position. From here, you can use the left hand if you wish to. That's optional, but uh, you don't have to use it if you don't wish to. From there, we just cradle our partners back onto the right foot, and you cradle your partners forward. Gently nudging out with the right shoulder, you just unwrap your follower so we can prepare for a spin. Finish off with a normal flick spin, spinning your partners anti-clockwise, stepping back at the end, catching left to right. I take you anywhere. The recurring teapot goes back, under, round once, twice, under, under, once, twice, send your partner out, return and back. The recurring teapot starts leaders left to the followers right in nice and close and hands down at waist level. From here you just gently push away with the back of that hand as we both take a small step back. Now, as we step into a normal classic teapot position, leaders, you raise your left hand and you take your right hand round behind your followers back and then once you've gone underneath your left hand, just drop it onto your left shoulder. As we walk round for two beats, we're going round one and two and. Now, what's going to happen is, leaders, you're going to nudge your partner behind you. So, followers, you continue to walk for two counts behind your partner and in the circle. Leaders, you raise your left hand and you're going to turn for two counts going anti-clockwise or to the left. As you come out of that second walk, you can then meet your follower and take your right hand behind their back and once again drop the left hand onto the left shoulder. From there, another two counts, we continue to go around one and two and. From there, you just gently nudge your partner again so your follower can take that extra step. Leaders, you drop that left elbow down so we can turn and face each other at the same time. From there, finish with the return so we raise that left hand, returning our partners, stepping back left to right at the end. The arm drive teapot goes back, twist, twist, shoulder, round, one, two, and through, face, return, and back. The arm drive teapot starts off uh, left to right in nice and close and hands down at waist level. Pushing away leaders, you offer that spare hand, so a double hand hold at this point. Now like a classic beginner's arm drive, we're going to step in, we're going to twist as we pull back with our left elbow, twist as we pull back with our right elbow, and then twist as we bring our left hand up to the left shoulder. From here, we just raise the left hand. We're going to keep hold of this right hand as we turn our partners all the way around. As we turn our partners, we're going to turn a quarter turn to the side to our left, and we're going to take our left hand over our head and drop our left hand onto our left shoulder. From there, we just walk around for two counts. We're going to go around one and a two and... From here, we're going to gently nudge our partners from behind the back so they, uh, our followers can do an extra step. We can drop our left elbow down so we can both turn to face each other at the same time. Finish the move off with a return as we step in, returning our partners anti-clockwise, stepping back, lowering the hand down at the end. Break. 
the basket teapots. Goes back, wrap, back, forward, round. One, two, out we go. Face, return, and back. So the basket teapot starts off, leaders left to the followers right in, nice and close, hands down at waist level. Stepping away, we're going to offer the spare hand, so a double hand hold at this point. Now like the classic beginner's basket, you're going to lower the right hand, we're going to raise the left, we're going to take the left in front of the face, wrapping our partners into our side. Cradling our partners back and cradling our partners forward. So up to this point, it's like a normal beginner's basket. From here, as you raise the left hand, you're going to pull back and turn your partner underneath that left hand, keeping hold with the right hand nice and low. As your partner continues to turn, so her left arm goes into a half Nelson, you turn slightly to the left, taking that left hand over your head, dropping that left hand onto that left shoulder. From here, we're now into that teapot position, so we can walk around for two counts. We're going one and two and from here we just gently nudge our partners with our right hand so they take an extra step we turn to face dropping that left elbow down so we can face each other at the same time and then finish off with a return returning our partners stepping back at the end left to right